Every Wasteland Buddy! Well, I know you're sick of being in Libertalia after about five videos, but don't worry, we're all done. I, off camera, I went through and grabbed everything that I showed you, but I didn't want to pick up because I didn't want to bore you to death. So Codsworth has all of the loot from Libertalia stuffed up his butt. Yeah, he's got a lot of storage space up there. And now we're going to head back to Sanctuary. Now before we do, remember I'm in survival mode. Look at my uh, effects down in the lower right. I'm hungry, thirsty, tired, and I'm sick. Well, we can fix most of those right here. Uh, we are going back to Sanctuary, so we'll, we have to finish the job over there. But I carry purified water around with me, and I, we're going to manufacture a lot of that back at Sanctuary. I'll show you how to do that. There, see, now we're properly hydrated. Uh, remember, I'm sick. Uh, unfortunately, oh shit, I don't have any antibiotics, but we can make those back at Sanctuary. Uh, if you go to your stat um, category and then click the status tab, that shows you everything that's happening. I'm lethargic, tired, peckish, and well, now I'm not thirsty, but I do have to eat a couple things. I've got plenty junk along with me. Uh, let's try not to eat junk food. Well, I just ate it. Shit. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, grilled rad's tag. No, let's not do that because that's uh, uh, grilled rad's tag actually gives you carry weight when uh, when you're at full health, but we're not at full health right now, so let's not do that yet. Uh, there we go. Um, now we're tired and we're sick, so we do have to go back to Sanctuary. I'll show you where we are show you where we're going. We're at Libertalia. We're going back to Sanctuary. It's the best place to uh, recoup right now. And then I'll explain what else we're going to do next. And... How's that for a grand entrance? We're back in Sanctuary. Now, uh, yes, we do have issues. First thing we're going to do, obviously, is rest, right? Let's do that, and then we'll recover, and then I'll show you all the sorts of things we can do to uh, craft and maybe even improve our weapons. We'll do that too in just a little while. Okay, here's an old bed. I made this uh, fairly early on in the game. Yeah, we haven't done a lot of building in our settlements yet, but we're going to do that too. That will help us to uh, level up a lot faster. Now remember, the reason I rest for eight hours is so I get that well-rested perk. Uh, I might just keep the... Well, now we, we've got to get the armor over to the station so we can repair it. We haven't repaired this in a while. And yes, you do see a special paint job on it. It's the sugar bombs paint job. Just can't get enough of those sugar bombs. Yes, I can tackle anything, especially breakfast cereal. Okay, let's... Oh yeah, so that's the very first thing I do usually once I return to Sankt de is I uh, repair this, all of this armor. Uh, not too hard to do. Well, you know what, I don't want to repair something when it's only 76 out of 80 because you wind up losing a lot of steel in the process. Yeah, see a lot of this stuff isn't really damaged that badly. Uh, I'll repair the helmet. Actually, I should do, yeah, I always have to get the legs up to full speed because if I lose my legs, then I lose all that extra carry weight because I have calibrated shocks on both the legs. That adds to my carry weight. Uh, we're probably also going to increase the model on these to B or even C later on. Uh, we do need the armor one for that. Let's decide a little bit later whether to do that. And we do have a perk available on standby if I decide that I want to use the perk. Uh, I'll even show you where it is. And yes, you can save perks for later on. See? I've got a level up perk right here if I want to use it. Alright, let's uh, first of all do some inventory management. First thing you should also do when you get back to your settlement is just store all of your junk. That's uh, pretty important. <laughs> now, we're also going to store anything that I don't need to carry around. Like all of the ingredients themselves, like the blood packs, that's an ingredient. You shouldn't carry that around with you. You should use that to make other things, including stim packs, actually. You do need blood packs for stim packs. Dirty water is an ingredient. Don't ever drink it. Just use it to make stuff. See all these cool things you're learning? I bet you didn't know. Well, now you do.
Uh, irradiated blood, yeah, you can keep those around. All the meats I put in here because we're going to turn around and cook it. And yeah, you can pull it right out of your uh, workstation. Uh, purified water, well, we'll keep that around. Yeah, meat, see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of uh, doing some basic inventory management. Potato, thistle, tar berries. Now, whiskey is an ingredient. You don't don't drink whiskey out in the wasteland. You're going to dehydrate yourself and then you'll die. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, now let's head over here. Oh, where is my uh, cook, my cooking station? Oh, there it is, right over there. I guess we're just going to have to... Man, it's going to take us forever to get over there. Well, you get to enjoy sanctuary, meanwhile. Yeah, I haven't really done a whole lot here, as you can see. Okay, let's do something. Oh, uh, we can make vegetable starch. All we need is meat, fruits, and corn. Oh, uh, that yields... What does that yield? It yields, I was going to say potato starch, you know, it yields adhesive. Now we can make vegetable soup. Uh, that's really good. It, um, it is, it solves our thirst and our hunger. And it also gives us rad resistance. That's good. And so does the noodle cup. The noodle cup does the same thing. That's why I make those a lot. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for squirrel bits because, uh, the, it, as it turns out, the squirrel stew, when you make it and then eat it, it gives you a plus two experience point gain for two hours. See, all of these different stews and soups are really interesting, like the gulper slurry makes you invisible. Uh, if only you can find some chicken thighs, this gives you rat resistance. You know, just all kinds of interesting little recipes here and there. Now, where is my chemistry station? Oh, there it is right there. Let's make some drugs. Okay, so first of all, I always make a few jets. Yeah, that's good. And then I make, I usually make a buff jet. Uh, let's see if we can make a grape mentats. Nope, we need hub flowers, damn it. I make a psycho jet. You know, I usually wind up selling a lot of this stuff. Uh, in fact, now to make all this stuff, I actually need chemist one. Um, but then, like I said, to make that uh, model C of the power armor, I need armor one. So I'll decide what to do in just a moment. Oh, what shall we do? Hey, alrighty. Guess what I decided to do. Yep, it's time to upgrade the T-51B. We're going to upgrade this. Uh, we're going to eventually find the T-60 and eventually the X-01 armor, which looks like the Enclave power armor. But meanwhile, let's uh, give this a this little bit of love. Much. Hey, shut up. Okay, first thing we're going to do is... I think we have to pick armor one. Let's just Very verify exciting. that that's true. I assure you. Uh -huh. Sounds good. All right. We may not be able to upgrade all these to Model C, but yeah, in fact, we do need armor level one for the Model C. So let's do. And we have. We're gonna run out of aluminium right away, so we'll have to find more of that pretty soon. Whoops. Yeah. And I have a feeling. I know exactly who can help us with that. Armor level one is in the, I think it's in the strength tree. Yes, it is. It's it's a weird place for it, but, well, anyway. Now, notice my uh, attribute levels. Charisma is only at three. Strength is only at four. Perception needs a little bit of work. I put everything into intelligence first so that it can level up faster. And we're definitely going to work on leveling up now, now that we're past Libertalia. Okay, let's move this up all the way to level C. It's a model C, and I just leveled up, son of a bitch. Look at that. That was easy, wasn't it? Uh, and there's my sugar bombs paint job. Uh, that's part of the main, uh, you know, the main game of the DLC. One of the DLC packs made that available. You know, that's not a mod or anything. I do have some mods, yes. Now, by the way, uh, we just ran out of aluminium, so we have to go and buy some. Why don't we fast travel? Even though I'm in survival mode, I'm going to spare you the travel. Let's go over to Drumlin Diner and see if she has some for sale. And... La! Here we are at Drumlin Diner. Even though it's about midnight now. Indeed, she's always open. Uh, who is this? Trudy. And her son, who's gotten over a drug addiction. Uh, after a close call with raiders that we killed. Hey, what's up? Excuse me. I can rest easy knowing that Wolfgang is rotten in hell. And that's the Thank raider you. leader that we killed, Vorfgang. Do you need anything? 
Yep, yep, yep. She gives me sure. a little discount a too, it's so all that worth never hurts. Cap on uh, if I wanted to reduce the prices, I could take great mentats if I wanted, but eh, screw it right now. We're looking for mostly aluminium. Uh, so anything that has aluminum, I often sort it by value, and then I'm just going to look through for al aluminum. Like, there's some right there. Okay. Well, anyway, she, as it turned out, she didn't have much aluminum, so we're probably going to have to find somewhere else that sells it. Uh, we're going to have to go to Diamond City and buy aluminum and a few other things. Don't worry, we'll get through it soon enough. Uh, we've already discovered Diamond City, obviously, because we've been through portions of the main quest, including uh, the molecular level, you know, where we uh, build a signal interceptor, which takes us to the Institute. We've uh, finished Institutionalized, that, that kind of thing. In fact, we just recently finished, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Synth Retention. So we do have to return to Father in the Institute. We might do that at the end of the episode. But let's go to Diamond City for the moment to buy some more junk. Uh, I'm going to go back to Sanctuary, grab my power armor, and then we'll head to Diamond Satai. There we are at Diamond City. Now, remember, we do have to find aluminium. There is probably a few other ingredients we're missing too, but there is a power armor station inside, so we'll figure out what else we're missing in a minute. La, here we are in Diamond Satai. Now keep in mind that even if it's too early in the morning, there's at least one shop that's open. Run by a Mr. Gutsy or Mr. Yeah, Andy at least. Cool. Yeah, there he is right there. Uh, yes, we are having a frame rate drop a little bit because because remember, we have uh, the enhanced textures now, which is uh, 60 gigs of new textures. Oh, yes. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's barter. I'll take a look, sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that armor, don't you? Okay, let's see what he's got first in the junk department. Probably tons of junk. I'm just looking for some quick aluminium. And of course, he doesn't have it. I have to dig through his inventory. Uh, actually, I will do that in just a moment off camera. Let's just see what else we need to continuously upgrade this armor. Yeah, I'm having some really weird uh, twitching, twitchiness all of a sudden. Did you notice that? Very odd. Okay, so to upgrade 51 to a, from an A to a C, it's going to require adhesive. And yes, we will uh, buy more adhesive too. And that's going to be true for pretty much everything. See, adhesive, aluminium, that's the arm. The torso is a little bit different. It requires nuclear material and aluminium and adhesive and circuitry. Um, and the helmet requires one. Well, that's already a B, so we only need aluminium and adhesive for that. All right. Well, we're going to have to buy a bunch of stuff, so let me do that for a while off camera, and then I'll accumulate. I'll go around, buy a bunch of stuff, and accumulate that, and then we'll come back. Well, there. I think I bought everything I need, but I'm missing some ingredients, which are back at Sanctuary, so that's where we're going. Uh, I did buy some antibiotics and a couple of other things so that takes care of the sickness uh, since I couldn't make my own right now uh, let's go back to sanctuary and finish the upgrade and back in sanctuary and luckily trash bag hey, Carlos right here You're so okay. I can buy a couple more right? things just in case I'm let's missing stuff got a little bit of everything. no smoking especially in Sanctuary. Um, she usually does have a couple of things that I need. Now remember, I'm always on the lookout for blood packs and like I said before, squirrel bits, uh, which she doesn't have, but that's okay. Uh, I'm always on the lookout for the herbals. 
Uh, those are very important for survival mode because they prevent you from getting sick. All right, I'm going to go through her and grab all the aluminum, adhesive, and everything else just like I did earlier. And there we go. Now all I have to do is just pump my junk into this thing and we're, yeah, now we're okay. Now we can move around again. Bam. Oh, that was one hell of a frame rate drop, wasn't it? All right. Now, at last, I think we can upgrade everything. Uh, actually, um, Codsworth has a bunch of junk, but you can see that we have plenty of adhesive, aluminum, circuitry, so we're going to be okay. There, that upgrades to C. Uh, so does this. See, we're doing the same exact thing for everything. And model A, model C, A, A. Uh, where are we? Yeah, and then the torso itself has the most unusual combination, which includes nuclear material. You need that. There we go. And I think we finally got everything up. Nope, we don't. The helmet has got to be a C2. There we go. Well, it doesn't have to be, but I wanted it to be. Okay, anything exciting we can add on the torso? Let's see. Well, there's a blood cleaner, cleanser. Reduces the chance of addiction from drugs. We don't really need that right now. All, most of the rest of this stuff uh, takes science level three. Uh, let's see if there's anything we could uh, be fun to do now. Like we could do the Tesla coils. Now, ultimately, my goal is to get this going. But you need armor four and science four. This I have a jetpack mod, which makes the jetpack even more useful. But for right now, since uh, there's nothing else to do and we have plenty of ingredients, let's make a blood cleanser. Law. There we go. It should be called the Cleansing T-51C Torso. It is. Good. All right. Now we rest, and then we should be in good shape again. Uh, and like I said, we're, well, we have to drink and eat too. And actually, this is a good time to end. Uh, we are going to continue the synth retention and get that over with. That is part of the main quest where you're helping out the Institute to in, uh, kind of familiarize yourself with everyone. And we have to go back to Fata, and he's over there in the Institute. And if you remember, we don't have to use this teleportation device over here. It's way over there. You see it? Uh, that's where I built it. That's where most people build it, is right here in Sanctuary when you go through the thing the first time. Now, uh, we can just fast travel directly into uh, the Institute, which is right over here. Now, you actually can't fast travel in um, survival mode, but of course, there's no other way to get to the Institute besides to fast travel, so it does let you fast travel to the Institute. We'll do that next time, all right? If you like this, you can subscribe to my channel. You'll get all these Fallout 4 videos in your inbox. And I do all sorts of other things like Skyrim Special Edition. I'll be starting the Prey 2 walkthrough or probably just a stream, a series of streams, uh, when that releases in May. All right, we'll see you next time in the Commonwealth. Thanks for watching.